Hello and welcome back. In this chapter, I am going to talk about multi-stage builds. In the past chapters, I had talked about keeping containers femoral as much as possible. That means containers can be started and stopped as quickly as possible. To achieve this, we have to keep image size as small as possible by keeping lesser number of layers and avoiding unwanted files and packages. Now let's see what are multi-stage builds and how it helps to keep the containers femoral. Multi-stage builds will have more than one from instruction in a docker file and each from instruction will start a new build. That means multi-stage builds will reduce image size and help us to keep container femoral in nature. Let's see how to write multi-stage builds. To demonstrate multi-stage builds, let's write a simple hello student program in Go language. Let's create a directory called Go PGM. This directory will contain hello students Go program. This example is for demonstration purpose only. It's not a complicated program. It's just going to print hello students. Save and quit. Now let's write a docker file to compile and run the Go program. Here I am using Golang 1.14.2 as base image, setting working directory to Go PGM. This is where hello students program resides. In the next step, I am copying the hello students program to work directory. Next instruction is run. This is where you have to compile Golang code by passing environment variables. And finally, CMD is going to execute the hello students executables. Let's build the image. I am tagging image as single stage. List the images. Image has been created. Let's run a container from this image. Hello students printed. List the images to see the size of the image. Its size is about 821 MB. Size is too much for any hello program. Image size is too much because in the docker file we are compiling and also executing the code. But what actually we needed is just executables. So let's separate out compilation and execution process in docker file by using two from instructions. Let's edit the docker file. Here each from instruction creates a new build stage. In the first build stage, I am compiling the code and calling this build as compiler. Here I am using as compiler that means I am naming this build stage as compiler. If you don't give any name to the build stage then first stage is treated as zero stage. This compiler build stage creates the executable called hello students in go pgm directory. This is what we saw in our previous example. In the second build stage I am using alpine as base image and I am copying hello students executable which was built by previous build stage that is compiler. Finally cmd command execute the executable copied from the previous stage. This is how we can create multi-stage builds to reduce the size of an image. Now let's build the image from this docker file and check the size of the Im image. This time I am tagging image as multi-stage. Image is successfully built. Let's run a container from this image. Hello students printed. Now check the image size. You can see image size is reduced because this image size is from second build stage that is execution. This image size doesn't include the size of the compiler build stage because each build stage is a separate file system layer. Let's make few more changes to the docker file. This time I am not naming first from instruction. This is treated as zero build. Therefore in the second build stage I am copying from zero build stage. I am naming second build stage as OS and using this value in third build stage. In the third build stage, I don't have anything except executable. This is how you write docker file for multi-stage builds. Let's build image from this docker file. Image is successfully built. Let's run a container from this image. Hello students printed. That's all for this chapter. In this chapter, you have learned how to write a docker file for multi-stage builds. Thank you. See you in the next chapter.